guys welcome to another robot dev tutorial in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about how to install pocket mine for windows 10 and pocket mine is a minecraft pocket edition home server or one you can install uh, on your computer to run uh, your own pocket mine server uh, as opposed to having to buy server space or uh, if you wanted to uh, realm or, or something similar this is going to allow you to have your own world that you can do what you want on and you can either keep it locked to your own um, local area network or you can uh, port forward so that you can uh, uh, expose it to the world and allow everybody else to have access to it so the way we're going to address this in windows 10 is we're not actually going to install it in windows 10. Uh, let's be honest when it comes to um, servers and when it comes to ports and access, Windows 10 is not the easiest platform to work with, but we can still install it on Windows 10 and we're going to do that with VirtualBox. So as you can see, I'm here, virtualbox.org. Go ahead, go to VirtualBox, go over to the download section, go ahead and grab your VirtualBox download. Now I'm not going to go into a ton of detail about how to um, how to actually install Ubuntu on VirtualBox. It's very simple. You just go ahead and grab your download. Um, then you go over to uh, Ubuntu.com. Go over to Ubuntu.com. I'll put the link in the description. And you can actually uh, go over and grab your download. You want to do it for um, AMD 64-bit. And go ahead and grab that download. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your virtual box and you're going to open it up. You're going to do um, a new virtual machine. You're going to go ahead and type in Ubuntu. I'll do Linux 64 bit. You go through all your settings. And then when you get done, you can go ahead, go into your settings. Once you get all that set up, into your storage, go to your controller IDE, and you can go ahead, click the disk, and browse and grab your ISO file. So, um, that's pretty much the, the skinny on how you do that, how you get your Ubuntu working. So once you get Ubuntu installed and once you get um, it working, then the next thing we're going to do is before we do anything else, um, once it's installed, and there are a lot of tutorials for how to do this, go ahead and get it updated. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our uh, network in our Minecraft server settings for VirtualBox. And we're going to change it to attach to, and normally it's NAT. We're going to go ahead and put it on bridged adapter. And you don't have to worry about the advanced settings. Everything's already done. Click OK. So now we're going to go over into our virtual machine, which I'm assuming you have running. And we are going to talk about what we're going to do next. So to understand how PocketMine works, there are is a .phar or .far file which contains all of your uh, essentially all of the guts that make the server work so you've got your network protocols you've got your wor world building tools and everything it's all encapsulated in this .far file and that's the that's the heart of the minecraft server so then we have our um, bin which contains all of our um, subcommands and we have then we have players, plugins, and worlds, which if you do a basic search, you'll see what all those are. So you have your worlds in your worlds folder. You, you can put your uh, plugins from the PocketMind forums into the plugins, and then your players are anybody who's connected. So now, how do we get this to work? So what I'm going to have you do is there's a link in the description I have hosted on Mega. Uh, I have the file, which I'm going to put the link in the description to go ahead and grab the PocketMine zip file. Um, and what you're going to be able to do with that is you're going to be able to go in and um, you're going to go to your downloads folder after you download it. And this is all already set up. I got the latest .phar that works with version 1.0.0.6. And you go over here to your downloads, downloads, and then you're gonna go ahead and grab your pocket mine zip file. You know, right click, open with archive manager, and you go go ahead and extract it to your documents, which I already have it done, so I'm not gonna um, show that error. Which would happen if I try to extract it? So we're gonna go ahead, and now that that's done, we are gonna go over here to our documents. Now it's gonna be already set up. Um, now, of course, my world won't be in there or anything. You don't have to worry about that. It's just go ahead and clean install, and go over to documents, and then um, PMMP is the folder name, 
and then go into here you're going to right click open in terminal okay and you're going to click period forward slash s t a r t dot s h and you're going to click enter and it's going to go ahead and launch your server which i already have running so go ahead and stop this okay so now you may run into an error that talks about php 7 needed and what you're going to do to negate this is go ahead and go over to your terminal open up a new terminal and you're going to type in sudo apt apt hyphen git space install php that's it go ahead and click enter and it's going to go ahead and install it which i'm not going to get i'm not going to let it get that far And I'm just going to go ahead and clear that out. All right, so that is done. So once you've installed PHP 7, this is going to work. Uh, then you just go ahead and right click and you open in terminal and you're good to go. Now then on your Android client or your iOS client, whichever one you're using, if you just go ahead and open up the game and you go to friends, which I'm assuming you know how to do this already, then your server is going to show up automatically. You click it and a blank world is going to show up. Uh, so now as far as development for this um, as far as I can tell it seems to be fairly active they went ahead and did the updates for the the latest uh, version 1 uh, dot X essentially because it seems to work with all the latest version ones uh, that are out there so I mean as far as usability it's not that hard um, now I will say that if it doesn't show up automatically you might have to manually add a server and if you need to um, you need to go ahead and find the uh, IP of your server and you need to do this with ifconfig in your Linux terminal because if the IP address that it shows inside of the server over here is uh, 127.0.0 which is uh, dot one which is the local host essentially that it, that's what it sees in this machine but what you're looking for right here is ENP 0 s3 or something similar and you're looking for inet address and which mine ends in dot four four so you go ahead and add that and you do your port uh whatever you set your port to when you did the setup which in this case it's uh dot three one nine one three two all right one nine one three two which you can change so now that we've got it kind of here and we've got it running now we got to talk about um, since you won't be going to the install process because I have it in a zip file already I, I already essentially set it up for you what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click server dot properties and that's gonna open your properties config file now you have your message of the day and you have your server port which is 19132 here your whitelist is off um, you can look up all these options there if you look up server.properties for minecraft pocket edition there's a good minecraft wiki you can look at so i just set all these up for what was best for me but that's completely up to you uh, as to what you want to set up for your for your world one thing i'm not going to go into in this video is port forwarding because there are way too many videos out there on how to do that uh, all you, I'm just showing you how to set up the server now a lot of people are ha were having problems with this and a big shout out to P, uh, PMMP.io which is seems to be the new home of the pocket mine um, the pocket mine project and their forums which is great I'll put the link in the description as well you can go ahead go over to their website and you can go to their forums ask any questions and somebody always gets back within 24 hours so I hope this video helped you get Minecraft server for Pocket Edition working on your Windows 10. Okay, here we are in our Minecraft Pocket Edition version 1.0.0. I'm going to go ahead and go to our server just so you guys can see what it looks like when our server actually does come up and just kind of what the world looks like and, and limitations, things like that. take a minute it's not a perfect system it does get some timeout errors sometimes it doesn't work but on the whole it works fairly well okay here I am in the center of my city I'm just gonna go ahead and take to the air 
just kind of show you, look around, some stuff I've done over here, buildings I've been able to do. Um, now, as far as limitations so far, I haven't noticed anything. Um, as far as like how long, how far in it loads the world, I mean, the as far as visibility goes, like how far I've been able to view, it seems to be fairly limited. Um, but I am rather high up in the air. There are no glitches like when I'm walking around. It does preload the scenery before I move. The only time I've really noticed any large glitches is when I'm uh, when I'm flying around. And that lag to get up the RAM on the server a little bit, maybe, and change it, but uh, not really worried about it. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I built every, I built skyscrapers, I've dug mines, you know, I haven't had a problem. So I hope this answers your questions, and uh, have fun mining away.